educational scientist um, Greenberg and Borger propose an interesting taxonomy with reference to role plays that it has key dimensions regarding the role being played and the level of involvement of students in learning participation. The role play simply means acting out of a particular role by a way of dramatic performance on stage about the specific situation. This time we, we are presenting glycogen metabolism. The role play can be used as a classroom activity and as an effective teaching and learning method. It requires a committed educational mindset both by faculty and students. Steps of role play can be many and not limited to first identification of a concept about learning, second preparation by students with the help of faculty, third can be a way of discussion and lastly by evaluation of role play. Coming to the benefits of role play, it is both fun and interesting. It helps to motivate students and also helps in development of emotional and interpersonal skills. It enhances creativity, self-esteem and confidence. And overall helps in understanding certain concepts about a particular subject. So overall it improves knowledge and consolidates learning. So with this I welcome you all once again and I request you all to sit back and enjoy this educational event. Thank you. A very good afternoon to everyone present here. I would welcome you all to our room today. You know, learning becomes very interesting and effective if you learn in a way which is familiar to us. On that basis, we are going to enact a role play on glycogen metabolism. Glycogen metabolism it consists of two steps that is glycogenolysis and glycogen synthesis. In the first, that is glycogen metabolism. Glycogen synthesis, that is nothing but polymerization of glucose into glycogen. Glycogen is a storage form of carbohydrates in animals and starch in plants. And it is stored in liver and muscles. Glycogen is a polysaccharide of Glucose units and held together by alpha 1 comma 4 glycosidic linkages. You know, glycogen is not a linear chain, it is extensively branched, and the every branching occurs at the 10th residue by forming alpha 1 comma 6 glycosidic linkages. Yes, here comes the glucose molecules and form alpha 1 comma 6. Glycosidic linkages. Yes, this is the glycogen molecule. So, let us see how this interesting molecule is metabolized by a single glucose molecule. In the first step of the reaction, the glucose converted into glucose 6 phosphate by the enzyme glucokinase. Here comes the glucose. Here comes the glucose. <laughs> and this is molecule in the metabolic system of the human body. Phosphate by the enzyme pyrophosphorylase. 
nucleus and the alpha 1 comma 6 glycosidic nucleus and 3 the glucose pathways. Yes, in the, the key enzyme of glycogenolysis that is glycogen phosphorylase with its cofactor peroxyl phosphate. Here comes the
not for long. And the only thing is that uh, when you come, and uh, I hope you will not call this football home. Going hand in hand, and we really enjoyed it, but we thanks to all those presented it and also to the department who gave them the opportunity. So, uh, uh, I feel the, as, a, as a part of the audience, so this rotation was an effective thing, and I really appreciate the success of the project. It was a country and also we uh, gained knowledge about them and especially about uh, that people six we did not know uh, like how exactly uh, so interestingly it plays a role in the uh, uh, in shine party also uh, so and also some of the enzymes which are uh, unable to proceed further and uh, so they are uh, they are all organized in very in a very great manner. So uh, this so, uh, thank you, Mr. Sarkar Shilpanan, for organizing such a event, uh, and especially to Gresha for organizing such a event. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank you. The rumble was well coordinated, well mannered. Uh, the narration was also good. Uh, the music, the music system, all the coordination among the people, and even uh, the presentation was, which was, which was uh, along going, going along. Uh, really, the, thanks to the, all the representatives who did a great job with them, and even to the uh, department also for uh, for introducing fun with learning. So, thank you.